All right, today we have a very special challenge. This is the Christmas lasagna. This has been frozen since Christmas, and uh, yeah, I've been waiting to eat this thing for a long time now. It's uh, super, super good. My mom actually made this lasagna. I'm very excited to eat this thing. So uh, we have the 10 pound lasagna. Uh, we have about like seven or eight of these Italian sausages, I think, might be 10. Uh, a whole bowl of delicious marinara, and we also have some of the uh, garlic bread here. Can't go uh, with the Italian feast without garlic bread, so. The stuff smells amazing. I love uh, lasagna, just Italian food in general, so uh, it's gonna be a really, really good one. Um, this thing is pretty saucy, so I'm hoping I can eat all of it, uh, but yeah, 10 pounds, this is like, the bread is like two pounds or a pound and a half, something like that. Uh, the sausage is something like two pounds, and then, uh, I mean, the sauce, I don't even know how much it weighs, but it's kind of like a, uh, something to make everything else better. But yeah, I've been waiting for this thing all day long. I've not eaten anything today, so I am just straight up starving. I'm looking forward to this thing, uh, all day. Uh, but yeah, nothing, uh, to it but to get into this thing. Let's get into this, uh, Gabagool. And, uh, three... Two, one, lasagna. Oh my God, hell yeah. Dude, that's so good. Super cheesy, super saucy. Oh yeah, this is a thick ass lasagna. Look at that, steam coming right off this thing. Oh my God. Yeah, my mom can uh, sure bang out a lasagna. Straight up having a Garfield moment with this super thick, delicious lasagna. This has to be one of the best, if not the best foods to ever be invented. You got the complete package with the cheese, the meat, the noodles, the sauce, all conveniently contained into one rectangular tin container. Uh, my mom, she can make a pretty good lasagna. I mean, uh, this thing is pretty delicious. If you don't like this thing, then, I mean, you just don't like lasagna, but you gotta get 2024 started off right with the delicious lasagna, so let's keep it going. We got a lot of lasagna to go. Look at the cheese coming off that, Jesus. Yeah, I don't really eat a whole lot of lasagna, but uh, this has got to be like one of the best foods of all time. This is, if you don't like lasagna, man, uh, I don't know what you like, but uh, this is pretty good. Still kind of hot though, that's for sure. It's burning my mouth. We definitely got a steamy one, but uh, yeah, what's a frozen lasagna if uh, it's not burning the roof of your mouth after you heat it up in the oven? We also got some of the delicious garlic bread. It's crunchy, it is savory, it is heavily tasting like garlic. And you got some of that delicious Parmesan cheese. We also have the Italian sausage. This is Costco's finest Italian sausage they have to offer. This is basically like two of the rectangular packs. I think there was actually nine of them, but definitely a fan of the Italian sausage and definitely goes well with the rest of this uh, delicious Italian food we have here today. Right, let's try some of the bread. Oh yeah, the bread's pretty heavy. This is actually sourdough, so it's like pretty thick. And it turns out uh, carbs really go well with uh, carbs.
I think this entire meal would feed somewhere around like eight to 10 people with the lasagna, the bread and the sausage is somewhere around like 12, 13 pounds. So definitely enough to go around. I mean, this whole meal, not just lasagna is looking pretty thick. You lay a microphone next to this thing, you might think it's ice spice. But really, really good. Definitely glad I have this much food because it is uh, not low on the calories. So definitely glad that it's uh, tasting so awesome if I wouldn't be putting down that much delicious food. I think my stomach's still messed up from when I uh, drank all that milk and deadlifted. <sighs> <sighs> Let's try one of these sausages. The Italian sausage, man's greatest sausage uh, ever created. The Italian sausage has to be up there pretty high on the uh, scale of deliciousness. Also, versatility. This sausage can be eaten for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Several different dishes can include the glorious Italian sausage. And, you know, there's a lot of effort that goes into making these sausages. If you've ever made a sausage, you'll know that it's a pretty gnarly process. You got the animal intestine, you got the ground up meat, and then you're just uh, stuffing and shoving until you see sausage. So. Definitely appreciative of the uh, good work of the people making these delicious sausages. But yeah, you could probably make an episode of uh, Dirty Jobs with how these things are created. But, you know, this thing's basically a gold bar in meat form. That's how delicious these Italian sausages are. All right, about 23 minutes in here. It's going good so far. This is still tasting uh, delicious. I was hoping to do this in like an hour or so. Maybe I could do it a little bit before that because it's going well, but uh, we got about like probably a third of lasagna left, uh, four of these sausages, and then this um, intimidating uh, garlic bread here. So, all right, let's see how it goes. And it is hot uh, as shit in here. It's freaking uh, feels like summer from all the cooking. All right, yeah, I'm trying, starting to get a little full here. Glad this is the last sausage, although it's been uh, very delicious. Yeah, I was getting a little full. The uh, lasagna this year is two pounds more than the previous years, and I think it's a little bit more uh, hearty of a lasagna. Uh, the last one last year was a little bit more saucy than this year's, but uh, no complaints about that. And my stomach was uh, straight up killing me still from the deadlift chug challenge. The gallon of milk with the 650 pound deadlift Definitely fun, uh, pretty crazy. Didn't know if I was gonna be able to do it or not, but definitely uh, wrecked my stomach. I mean, it felt like it was like a strained muscle for like two weeks. All right, onto the rest of this delicious uh, buttery garlic bread. I am full though. But good thing this stuff tastes so good. The sourdough keeps. Still super crunchy. The 2024 lasagna in comparison to the 2023 lasagna, I think uh, wins the lasagna award. I think it was a little bit more dense, thick, had more cheese, noodles, sausage, you know, everything you want in the lasagna. Like I was saying, a little bit light on the sausage here, but that's okay. And we got the full meal coming together with the garlic bread and the sausage. So all around good time definitely glad this was so delicious because there's a you know double digit poundage on this meal oh my god yeah i'm feeling full i'm gonna keep eating this for an hour we'll see how it goes all right guys uh i'm gonna call it good there because uh yeah, my stomach is uh, hurting. I uh, did a 
deadlift chug thing last week, and I think I'm still not fully recovered from that, but uh, I thought I was going to be able to eat all this. I'm not really sure how much uh, lasagna is left, but we can take a look here. I'm going to get the scale. Uh, this feels pretty heavy still. Three pounds, 12 ounces. Two pounds, like eight ounces. Yeah, so about like uh, three um, pounds, 12 ounces left. Yeah, I think between the bread and the sausages, that was around like four pounds. And then the uh, lasagna was like 10.6 pounds. So all of this together was probably around like 14 pounds. But yeah, I'm super full. Uh, I thought I was, I think if uh, I didn't do that deadlift challenge uh, last week, I'd be able to eat all this, so. But yeah, I'm just feeling super rough right now. But hey, it was uh, really, really good. So definitely like lasagna. Gonna have to eat uh, the rest of this later. Um, but yeah, for right now, I am going to have to lay down, so. Uh, yeah, if you like lasagna, definitely I'll like the video. And, um, definitely go out and eat some lasagna yourself, so. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.